To begin the installation of PowerChurch Plus version 11, place the installation disk in your disk drive. The installation screen should auto-play. Click on Install PowerChurch Plus 11. When the Windows Setup Wizard appears, click Next. Choose the location where you want PowerChurch to be installed. The first time you run PowerChurch, you will have to set up your church information. If you have previous versions of PowerChurch and you wish to convert your files to version 11, click Yes. Depending on the age and the version of PowerChurch, you may be asked questions about fund accounting and payroll. If this is your first time installation of PowerChurch and you have no previous version, click No and proceed. Fill in your registration number, your church name and address, and phone number, and proceed. If you have upgraded from a previous version of PowerChurch, your file conversion is complete at this point. Click Exit and restart PowerChurch. When you run PowerChurch for the first time, you will be asked to register your software. You will be prompted to create a site on PowerChurch.com. When you first start PowerChurch, the Quick Task pane is opened on the left. The Quick Task pane contains some of the more commonly used functions. The complete set of functions can be accessed from the menus overhead and the drop down menus associated with them. When you're finished installing PowerChurch, you will want to go through your setup accounting wizard. You will also want to go to your file preferences and set up your system setup options, your user setup options, and especially your passwords. These setup menus will be covered in other tutorials.